Hello everyone, this is Wong Wong Town Keys, and today I'm going to be showing you not my gameplay, but gameplay by Al Bo Al Bogdan 10. Uh, and another player on his defender. And these games I chose as personally I think I found these replays on the water replay server. Not server website and I just thought it'll be nice to show you some other people's gameplay so our friend here on his I don't know should I call you Paul or Bogdan or 10 let's just call you Bogdan I'll I'll go with that it's actually increase the minimap size like that and he and his object, or she, I don't know. Okay, wh whoever you are, Paul Bogdan, probably Paul. I mean, probably he. But his object 140 is already getting ahead of his team, while the other flank is getting absolutely destroyed by the enemy team. Not quite the best shell. A uh, shot in him, which is sad. But the better DPM of the Object 140 compared to the D10 is is pretty visible here. Plus, the Object 140 does have some better turret armor, I'm pretty sure. Although I never played in that tank before. Trust me, guys. I say that. So, he's trying to come out. And he blocked another 440 damage. Okay. Oh, and there's an FV-115-183. That is a scary. And he didn't pen it, which is kind of... Which is really unfortunate. But at the same time, kind of unusual, I would say. Oh, he misses that shot. Uh, that That is a shame. Oh, I mean, using a lot of shells, you know that, right? Hyper Heavy, U using the Durgan, I presume? Yes, good job, that was a pretty important kill. Because, as far as I know, the FV 215 is really strong. Let's just zoom out. And he's using the... And Bogdan is using the really slow reload of the Type 4 Heavy to destroy him. Or it. And, and already, Bogdan is the only one that destroyed a single enemy tank. Doing over 7, no, 300 damage in this battle. And the other flank is completely destroyed while the uh, WT of Panzer IV is, was just destroyed. So the only real force is here. And for now, Bogdan is putting more and more shots into the Amex turn 90. And his teammate, or, yeah, does even more damage. Okay. Four kills. Nice. Four kills, four thousand damage. Not too bad. Okay, okay, good use of the repair kit. And the TVP only had oh high caliber as well. Not bad. And Bobby's team melted. Krangvon, that tank had one of some of the best turret armor, so it's a really good decision to not go after the bot after the crank one, going at, instead after the STRV. Just because you can actually circle the STRV if you're if you play, play it correctly. And well 
it's not going all that well. Only two conquerors left, and K92 HMC. Okay. And the object 261 was just spotted. Okay, that was a good shot in. Although, I'm pretty sure that was a low roll. Yeah, that was a really low roll compared to. And. Yes! And it's only the. It's only Bogdan and the Super Conqueror that actually destroyed a single tank. And now they have to work as a team to. Get rid of the enemy team. Aw, uh, that was. Uh, too bad. No, I would actually worry about the standard B that could be coming from this direction, but. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, that was... oh. As well as the Krangon. It was not spotted for some time now, so... Better worry about it. Okay, so... Okay, the Super Conqueror kills one more tank. Um, that was... Not the best shot. And the Amex 30 and 90... Only hits one of his shots, allowing Bogdan to finish him off as it was a one shot. Okay, so Bogdan rolls higher than average. Oh no, well, no, that was that was not the best idea. The Krangon third armor is just way, oh, well, way too good, way too good. Too strong. And he and Bogdan actually sent the invitation to Super Conqueror, and now they're in a platoon. Oh, well, that was nice. And so, if Bogdan, if both Bogdan and Super Conqueror, his name is Lucas2015, they both survive in this battle, they can definitely get a. A steel, not a steel wall, brothers in arms. But, but, well. Oh, yes, Super Conqueror actually survived that. Nice. I. This is the first time me watching this battle. And, great shot, yes. I tr definitely agree with you. Lucas 2015. So, Lucas 2015. Good job, and well, well, Bogdan, you're the hero of this battle. Did more than did all you already done? Seven thousand damage. Seven thousand. Just, just think of that. And now the question is, so, but actually, I just realized. Um, only has eight shells left. So if we take, let's say he rolls medium, like average, we we'll need four of his shells to kill the both artilleries. And actually, and there is one. He's, yeah, I won't snipe it because Russian accuracy is not the best. Just leave it at that. He, oh, you wasted one of your shots. Ah, uh, well. Okay. Oh, you wasted one more shot. You need to preserve your shells. And he took, uh, eight, I mean, 18 damage. Um, okay. You finished off the M40, M53, 55. Now you have the T-92. And you only have four shells. You should have used up those two shells. But I mean, well, there's a chance that you may get a Faden Smell now. Or something. So, 
Personally, I will say that Balan does need the support of the Super Conqueror, but more as a tank destroyer kind of, like Balan in the back. Oh well. Can he do it? Is the standard, is this gonna be a disappointment? It's probably not gonna be a disappointment with the Team 92 HMC because he shot and so. He's not AFK just yet, at least. I'll the standard B that I am not quite sure. He was not active at all in the last two. Like, not two, but like quite a while. And is he there? He's there, should be in the ditch. And no, the Jeep 92 is not here. Not here. Yeah, and the standard B actually moved, so it's actually not AFK. Oh, you missed one more shot. That's a shame. We'll have to roll pretty high. Two. Or actually, he can get the support of the Super Conqueror. Two. You missed one more shot. Okay, and to get in. Yes, that was that was amazing in my opinion. The T92 tried to crash or drown. One shot left, guys. Now we have the true excitement. Bogdan here is on 11 kills, while. And he will, he done over 700 damage. And he probably can cap out if he goes there immediately right now. But uh, Super Conqueror and Bogdan decide to just go ahead and try to find the last enemy. And the question is, where is the enemy? He's not seen for like quite a while now, so it's a question of where he is, the enemy. And it is a standard B, so that is an unloading tank. So it can. Where is it? <laughs> oh wow, guys. Well, that kind of explains a few things. Why this therapy was not in action. But, as you can see here, Bogdan picked up 12 kills and over 740. 400, over 7,400 damage. And killed the last enemy with the last remaining shot. Dude, that was an amazing battle. And good job to the Super Conqueror. I don't think, I think that if not for you, Balin would have not been able to do everything that he did. So, now let's go look at the results of the battle. So, what battle this was? Well, I mean, unsurprisingly, Balin here got the Mastery, Master Mastery Badge, Duelist, Bruiser, for like, oh, quite a bit. Impenetrable, I think. I don't know what it's called. Uh, far for effect and a hand of God for receiving shots from many enemies, more than five, I think. Got Pool's Metal for killing 12 enemies. Ascucci's Metal for killing two artilleries. Baden's Metal, one which many want for killing the last enemy with the last remaining shell, so that was actually really lucky that he, uh, that, what do you call it, the Progetto standard B actually, was on 79 hit points, so that was pretty good. Well, I mean, Warrior for the 12 kills, and actually, Falcon went, even with premium, he lost 69 Okay, silver, but I think it was really worth it. So, steel wall for blocking 
How much damage is that? Let's check. For 2,500 damage block. High caliber. Crucial contribution that Brothers in Arms for both Lucas and Bogdan. Uh, killing over three enemy tanks. And surviving the battle. Bogdan got oh, two medals. Which is still pretty good. And they've both done, well, I'm pretty sure both of them together have done way over the whole team. So, and actually the TVP, uh, T50, Kamala, good job, I, you got in 6,000 damage. I'll say that's pretty good. Well, Bogdan overdid you, but still, that was pretty good. Bogdan, I mean, you amazed me with this battle, that was um, amazing. But now let's go on to the battle with the defender that's going, that might or might not get, probably will, get quite a few good medals. Okay, so now let's come on to the next battle with High Pro Bow, or High Pro Bow, I'll, I'll just make it easier for myself to say it. In his defender and that tank personally I'm not that big fa uh, fan of it but that's because I don't have it I played one battle in it or two battles and I loved it because it's really overpowered in my opinion and well I probo came into the battle being blue so I don't know what your reasons are I'm not gonna judge your anything but well, such it's a fact make the minimap bigger once again and well I probo is playing on Runeberg personally I like the map just because of the many possibilities that you can have on it and well well that was a pretty good hit on the T25 too although the reload on this tank is not particularly the best, I'll say. Panther 2. There you are. Here we go. Have a present from the defender. We'll defend uh, his hit points and attack your hit points. Okay, he didn't sadly. Oh, well, hello, Oni. Are you having fun? Apparently, yes, because, well, I probably. Will... Oh, um. That was. Not quite a one-shot, but, well, not much better out. Hello, Oni. Are you ready for... Yes, you are. Are you having fun? Um, well, if not, well... Uh, too bad. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, so... Trying to snipe the Oni. Although... Good job. And I probo already has done 1,700 damage and got some about 800 assistance. Oh, and while I probo is doing destroying the Oni, his team has lost the Easter Flame. Now they're trying to cap. So, let's see how that goes for- No, no, no more capping. Well, that is- Oh, already high caliber! And, well, I mean, it's a 6 tier battle. It's kind of easy for 8th tier tank. Yeah, high caliber, but still. Two ta- over- Oh, well. Okay. That is a good choice of deciding to shoot the panther rather than the- ARL Although maybe not but Hey, so How is I probo gonna Decipher what to do Can he shut down the aiming student 75 actually no because um, It's behind the, the Wall behind the building and Provo, I don't know if you're a guy or a girl, but well, good job at this battle. 
I mean, already 3,000 damage. Um, more than I usually do. Okay, good choice, reversing. Russian. Oh, the Russian. Uh, aiming. Russian accuracy is really bad unless guided by Serb. Oh, well. That's actually really bad at this point, just because of the fact that. I probably was gonna get swarmed very soon. So I probably need to act really quickly and shut down the Amex 375. Oh, oh, no. No? No, that was really. Okay. Oh, no? Oh, that. This is really bad, guys. So, I probably lost a lot of his hit points, which is a, a good uh, choice making, in my opinion. Because the Amex 375 did way more to you than... Now you have a call ban of metal opportunity. Jack Panzer 4. Oh, <laughs> well, that was a good kill, in my opinion. Hello, Yak Panzer IV. Let me give you some happiness. E25. Trying to flank Iprobo. And he actually damaged. No, he didn't. Cool. Um, do you want to come out? I mean, I have a present for you. Okay, good. Good choice making. Sh shutting down the tank that has. Let's hit points so that your team can actually do something to them. Okay, trying to shut down the Yak Panzer 4, and he did, and he does it. The ML1 probably not the best choice making, in my opinion. He could have flanked round. Okay, how many shots? Wait, what is he doing? He's not shoot okay. Yeah, he is shooting. Okay. Uh, well, twice in the tracks. Is that it for the Emil? It just one more shell in. Oh well. Uh oh. I think someone might have made a small mistake. Okay, trying to shut down the ML be before he has time to reload all his magazine. He's almost there. Yes, yes. Okay, and now the B-43 Bs is firing HE shells at him. That is... okay. Okay, yes. Shook the camera a little bit. Um, I, I would be excited as, as well if I were you, I Provo. Uh, yeah, that, that was a really intense battle. How many enemies was that? Let's actually pause it and come over here. So, let's actually see. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five tanks. And he still has the Crusader SP to take care of. And the, and the problem is, I Probo is a one shot for the Crusader SP. If you understand what I'm talking about, because Crusader SP is firing the AG shells, he is probably gonna one shot, even like even if he splashes near him. And actually, right now, a good choice by iProvo, in my opinion, will be to load an HE shell. Although, is this. Although, actually, that is more than enough. Kill the Crusader SP. And the Crusader SP. Yes, yeah, Serb! Yes, Serb is on your side, iProvo. That is an amazing battle. The 
Crusader SP was trying to move closer but was driving backwards and that is not the best idea when going against a defender. Okay, so that was an amazing battle. Let's see the results. And so, well, I probosk, well, I'm, I probable. Um, got a mastery badge, master mastery badge, reaper for killing three tanks with three shots, interval, duelist bruiser, powerful effect, hand of god, fool's metal once again, 12 kills, call of banner for, well, that, that was pretty good, top gun steel wall for, well, let's check once again, for 4,000 damage blocked, high caliber for the, how much was that? Uh, I feel so dumb right now. Damage. For this... Almost 7,000 damage. And I think that's cool head. Yes, that is. And well, that is a lot of... Well, first of all, most kills on the team. Second of all, most damage on the team. Well, way more than the whole team. I mean, I know it's a 6 tier battle, but still. That was really impressive. So, good job, I Provo. Well, I don't know. I mean, how much experience do you get? 2,000. That was, that was nice. Actually, 3,000 because of, I don't know what he was using. Oh, premium count. Right. So, good job, I Provo. Um, so, I Provo. And um, I have terrible memory. Oh, uh, Bogdan. Sorry for that voice crack. But both of them did such an amazing job of carrying their team to victory. Um, thank you all very much for watching this video. Please, um, please stay tuned for my next video that's going to come out this Friday. Bye.